Hey everybody, it's Royal Ruby and me and Teddy are here today to have a coffee chat. Um, there's a lot going on in the world right now and I just thought it'd be fun to, to have a coffee chat. And Teddy wanted to say a special, a special good morning to you. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest little dog ever? Yeah, he loves being in the van. He loves it. Hey, you can see I got my ukulele back there. I play that when I'm in my van. Um, it's a great little music uh, inspirational thing to do. It helps to give you something to do in the van on a rainy day. But yeah, I play it all the time. Coffee's brewing. It smells so good in here, guys. Oh yeah. So we'll be right back with a cup of coffee. It takes about five minutes. We're already up to about one cup. So in about five minutes, we'll be brewing, we'll be making our cup of coffee. We'll be right back. Hi guys, it's Royal Ruby. Thanks for tuning in for Coffee Chat. I do have a few things I wanna share with you guys, things that I got for the van, um, emergency kind of survival type things because of everything that's going on in the world. I think it's good to have your bug out vehicle and basically that's what I consider my minivan is a bug out vehicle right now because of all the things that are going on in the world, there's nothing wrong with being prepared. I mean, I can't tell you how much this little van helped me when the, the big snowstorms hit. And I utilized my butane stove, my Mr. Buddy heater, my Jackery. I mean, it literally saved our lives. I mean, we were without power for hours. My hotspot, you know, which I had because my Wi-Fi wasn't working. I mean, I utilized every gadget that I had, my major gadgets. So yeah, this really is a good thing right now to have yourselves prepared. So I have two things I wanna to show to you that I have that it's wonderful. And also we got our green lights going on for St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is March 17th, everybody. So don't forget, you have to get your vans all decked out. Now, the only thing I do for St. Patty's Day is I just put the green lights on. And I have them in like party mode where they're twinkling a little bit and they're happy because I'm not Irish, but I still enjoy the holiday. Okay, guys, so let's get on with the coffee. All right, we got our coffee pot ready to go. It's all brewed up. Now we're just going to pour this into our cup. And you guys know that I am in my, I am in my table mode set up right now. Time for cacao bliss. Sorry, cacao bliss. I use a scoop of this in my coffee because I love it. It's kind of nice today. It's actually um, 60 degrees here, and that's pretty good. We've had 76 yesterday, which I'm not complaining about that after all this horrible weather we've had. Looks like spring is in the air. Um, but like I was telling you guys earlier, I'm still on hold with my trip. And then I always add a teaspoon of honey. Teaspoon of honey. And mix it up with my spork. Mmm, I love honey. Stir that real good. Get all that creamy goodness in there. Still got a little honey left on my spoon. You don't want to lose any of that. But yeah, because of the weather and the, the gas prices and stuff, we've kind of been holding off on our trip. And I don't know about you guys, but gas is up to about, I have to put premium in my Volvo. Now my van takes regular gas, but I've been um, watching the gas prices go up and up and up. So we're up to about, 4.39 a gallon in this area and that's for regular um, premium is much higher so my van takes regular gas it's not nearly as bad as my Volvo but you know it's just a lot of money to travel right now so I may put my blends on hold until they get this whole mess straightened out I don't know but salute to everyone. Teddy hears something. He's such a good watchdog. Salute. 
Let's have some coffee. Oh, delicious. Oh, that's Starbucks coffee. I haven't had Starbucks in so long. It's really good. It's the medium roast. Mmm, nothing better than a cup of coffee. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. You guys know my routine. I always just throw my dishes in my sink. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to pull my table over here. We're going to have a little coffee chat. The first thing I want to show you guys is this really cool radio. I don't know if you heard it playing in the background. It was probably a little annoying to some people. Some people don't like to hear background noise in videos. But this is a cool little radio. And the reason why it's a cool little radio is it's solar powered. You can power this with the sun. Back here you have a, a solar power strip. And I'm gonna turn it off for now. So you can sit this in the sun. And what this does is it pops up so that you know if you wanna put it on your dashboard or anywhere like that, it will charge solar. So it does take batteries as well, okay? It has batteries in here, but you won't need to use them. So in other words, if you run out of batteries and you're in a survival situation, you can charge this up with the sun. Then there's this little crank on the side. You just turn like this. If you wanna charge it up even faster and not wait for the solar power, you just take this little crank and you turn it. And it'll charge up your radio that way too. Now what it has, it has um, the weather. Try to get that on for y'all. It has different bands for the weather. Okay, there's one. Okay, it also has um, FM. FM, AM. And then there's SW1 and SW2. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I usually have it on FM. So yeah, it also has a little flashlight on it. I don't know if you can see the flashlight. So that's nice to have in an emergency situation. And it also blinks red. So, you know, these are the kind of things that you really need to have when you're out in survival situations. And here it tells you your indicator of, of whether it's charging. Right now my battery is low, so I need to charge it up. So I either need to crank it, put new batteries in if I wanna use the batteries, or I can put the solar power on. But this little buddy is called the Voyager, and it's by uh, NOAA Weather Radio. Kaito, K-A-I-T-O is the manufacturer. And I just think it's an awesome little radio. It has this nice little strap that you can carry, it has an antenna. And like I said, it is just the bomb diggity. So this is something you really need to have in a survival situation. The other thing I have is this. Now this little gadget, it's called a Seychelles water filtration bottle. Now I bought these for all of my kids. Each of my kids have one of these. So this literally can be used in any dirty water. Like let's just say you have a mud puddle. <laughs> you can fill this bottle with mud puddle water and you could drink it. I mean, this is like probably one of the best filter bottles that on the market. It's by Seychelles, S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, water filtration. Um, they're not cheap. It removes all kinds of chemicals. I don't have the paper here to tell you what all it takes out, but basically you remove the cap with the filter. You fill the bottle with water. You tighten the cap. and you raise the straw. Squeeze the bottle and draw water from the straw. And then it has this little strap that you can hang it, you know, onto your belt or whatever it is you're using. Another handy gadget. 
hey, with things the way they are right now, you just don't know what's going to be going on. We don't know if our water prices are going to go up. Um, we don't know if we're going to have access to the internet. That's why this little radio is such a good little thing to have. I mean, we really don't know um, what kind of things are in the near future here. So I always say better to pre be prepared than not. So these are the two gadgets that I wanted to show you today. Um, and I think that they're wonderful and you need to get one. <laughs> My kids all have one of these. So guys, yeah, it's been a very challenging time. Um, and like I said, with my trip to Georgia, with the gas prices the way they are, I just don't know, guys, if I'm going to go or not. I mean, I'm in prayer about it. I'm a very cautious person. I'm not a spun. I am spontaneous in some situations. But when it comes to safety and it comes to um, I'm kind of a very frugal person. I don't want to pay these gas prices to travel right now. So I don't think I'm going to go. I really don't. I do have to take my mother to the eye doctor this week. She has to go on Thursday. They just said she's going to get snow up in Pennsylvania. So I might not be able to go do that with her now because they're supposed to get one to three inches on Wednesday. That's the day I was going to leave to go up there. So, you know, I don't know yet if I'm going to go or not. I'm not counting it out, but I'm not going to go and, and spend that kind of money to travel to Georgia right now. I'm just not going to do it. When I can go anytime, you know, I don't have to take a trip. It's not like I have to do it. And I think a lot of people are, are stopping their travel plans because of the gas prices. Like I said, I think we're paying about $4.49 a gallon for regular in this area. And premium is almost $5 a gallon, which is what I take in my Volvo, but my van is regular gas. So yeah, it's, it's insane. All right. So this is from Matthew 24 and this is what God showed me. This is where we are now. Um, according to Bible prophecy, this is where we are now. No, the world is an ending. You know, it's just another time in history. We're getting closer to the end. That's true, but we're not quite there yet. So here we go. Matthew 24. Um, as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? So when will be the sign of Jesus Christ coming back to the earth and the end of the age, this age, as we know it? Jesus answered them. Now he's telling, this is the son of God. Okay. If you believe the word of God, this is the son of God. Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of earth, of birth pains, the beginning. So I do believe that we are going to reach a point in this wars and rumors of wars and nations rising against nations <clears throat> where it's going to just start to go on warp speed. And we're going to just see these things just happening very quickly. So guys, just fasten your seatbelt. Things are going to get rocky. Things are going to get rough. But know in your heart that you don't have to be fearful. So don't let this thing with Ukraine and Russia, don't let it bother you. Don't let it get you going. Yes, the news media is giving you all kinds of information. And not all of it's true, guys. I hate to tell you, don't believe what you hear in the news. Half of it's false. I would say three quarters of it's false. So you just cling to the word of God. And I just told you where we are in prophecy. I just showed you based on the word of God, where we are today in scripture, we are not ready for the world to end. Yes, we're going through some hard times. Yes, it's going to be tough, but we are a nation of strong people. That's my coffee chat for the day. And, you know, it's been a rather long one, but I haven't seen you guys for a while. It's been, I don't know, about 12 days, I think, since I've done a video. But all I got to tell you guys, I got my bug out vehicle and it's Royal Ruby. We are ready. We are ready to go. I'll be praying for everybody um throughout this whole situation and i'd appreciate your prayers as well god bless you and i'll see you down the road
Thanks for tuning in.